Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 2020 Panini Mosaic Football 6 box half case pick your team number 6. Um, from a fresh case, actually 6 actually sold out before 5. So that's how it went. First to fill, first to break as always. Big thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into the action. On Friday the 11th, Dwayne with that last spot mojo, Browns, and there's everybody else. Brand new release. We've got plenty in the shop on jazbeescasebreaks.com, so get it before it's gone. Ooh. Let's pop this fresh case. here but all right yeah Josh and Ryan I think you guys might be lagging behind a little bit we we found it we were looking at it make sure you're watching live All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six on the left and right side right here. You can see the box on the top camera as well. Let's roll the die. Let's select, select that one right there. And we'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. And it's gonna be two. So we're gonna do the left side right here. So this side, we will save for pick your team five. All right, so you can see I wrote number five on all six of these boxes right there, so you know that for next time, this is from the same case. Slide these over here. And I got a stack of random team boxes down there as well. All right, so two, four, six. All right, let's roll. Good luck, everybody. All right, there's the list again. We're talking place right there. Awesome. You yeah, guys are laggers. No, it's all good. All good. That is that that Durant situation is a little weird though. I got maybe five a little time later trying to do a little more investigating on the checklist, but it is kind of odd. All right. So these are hobby boxes. Two autographs per box on average. We also have choice editions of Mosaic Football on the website right now. Brand new release just dropped today, jazbeescasebreaks.com, check it out. I've lost television access here, ladies and gentlemen, so I don't know what's going on in the world. Who's, <laughs> what's happening in that Clippers Nuggets game? Anything happening there? I should break at the card bar outside. Guess I can have ESPN scoreboard open. Clips up 80 to 73. All right. All right. End of the third. All right. Thank you. Okay. Here is the start of the first. All right here, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. All card ship. Nice Jerry Judy for my rivals, the Broncos. Matt Johnson with that. Who, with the Cortland Sutton injury, may may get a little more work. There's Len Dawson, red, not numbered, but of course Will Shib. Nice Patrick Mahomes MVPs. There's 
There's Adam Vinatieri silver. And there's Mike Kosicki to 99. And a Gardner Minshew stained glass. Nice. Those stained glasses are nice. That'll be for who has the Jaguars and pick your team six. That'll be Joseph Matthews with the Jags and six. And the Mike Kosicki will go to the Dolphins. Corey. Richard Sherman, Mosaic, Leighton Vander Esch, Red. Those are not numbered. But remember, everything ships. Patrick Queen, Rookie Silver, and Joe Burrow, NFL Debut Red. That goes to Ryan. Ryan F. and the Bengals. Nice. Patrick Queen, rookie silver, goes to the Purple Birds. That'll be DeJork of that one. Chris Jones, Rod Woodson. There's Darrington Evans, Mosaic, and Clyde Edwards Hilaire Red. I guess he's he's the hot player this week. So we'll take care of him right away. Mark Bassett with the Chiefs. There you go, Mark. And there's for the Titans, Brandon Nelson, Darrington Evans. Russell Wilson, Men of Mastery. Base Joe Burrow. Another one for Ryan F. Teddy Bridgewater. How, do you, how does everyone think Teddy Bridgewater is going to do in Carolina? And Tremaine Edmonds to 25. That's for the Bills. That'll be for Dan. D. Turk. Tom Brady, Buccaneers, Jeremy Tillman. Mark Andrews, Leonard Fournette, still Jags edition there. T. Higgins, introductions. I'm hoping this guy does well. And Otis Anderson. Is the uh, second autograph, right? Yeah, Jerry Judy was the first one. Yeah, Otis Anderson, the second autograph. That'll be for uh, Cody and the New York Football Giants. And so this Tom Brady obviously goes to obviously goes to the Patriots. Another Joe Burrow for Ryan and the Bengals. And a base Clyde Edwards Hilaire for Mark and the Chiefs. All right, that was your first box. Next box, box two of six. This is pick your team six. First half of the case, six filled before five. But five should be full shortly, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So I'm gonna set a little bit of extra room here. All right, onwards. I, for one, uh, have uh, Teddy Bridgewater on one of my one of my two fancy football teams. 
And I, I think I, I'm interested in seeing what he can do. You know, marinating behind uh, Drew Brees a little bit. Learning from one of the best quarterbacks in the game. You know, being healthy, staying healthy. And now he's got a... Now he's got a chance to start regularly and see see what happens. Cubby's wondering what everyone thinks of these mosaic cards. I think they look great. Mosaic hoops was really popular. And I was very excited when there was like, what's like, oh, there's gonna be an NFL version of this. Keep cruising through here. There's Thurman Thomas Silver, CD Lamb, NFL debut red. Remember, all cards ship. More Brady. I think those in his, in his Tampa Bay uniform seems to be pretty popular. We got Jake from State Farm, Buffalo, Dan Tursky. I'll save those rookie parallels. Tom Brady, Men of Mastery. I wonder if those inserts. I know the stained glass insert does really well, but. Phil, what do you guys? <laughs> Some guy dropped uh, John Brown in your league, so you have to drop Ayuk for him. But he didn't want to. You also have Josh Allen. Josh Allen, I think, is going to be a pretty good player. There's Van Jefferson. Van Jeff Jefferson, a Los Angeles Ram. That's going to go to EA and the Rams. It's Cole Beasley for Buffalo to 25. How about someone, John, John Brown? Yeah, I think John Brown's an upgrade over the unproven Ayuk. There's Aaron Rodgers. Packers. That's Colin Sullivan. These stained glasses, I know, are a pretty popular insert. So there you go. Kyle Rudolph, Tremaine Edmonds. How did everyone's fantasy drafts go? a Van Jefferson rookie red for EA. We got Christian Kirk, Darius Slayton, Tua introductions. Calvin Johnson silver, carry on Johnson red. Carry on my wayward son. Hi, are you the cable guy? Cable guy. <laughs> Do these Mahomes cards still have yeah. value many years later? After I, maybe they do. I don't know. They've been we'll, save, one. we'll save one. There's Tommy Stevens, Saints. Feels so like you gotta be gotta be sneaky. You don't win your leagues in the first few rounds. Yeah, that's definitely true. Nine out of ten on that one. Saints. Josh Hansen. Adam Cuburn says, thought yours looks solid. Kamara, Eckler, Allen Robinson, OBJ. I'm looking forward to maybe OBJ getting some, uh, let's see how he does. I feel like last year was kind of a lost year for the Browns. Everyone had, people had them going to the friggin' Super Bowl. A lot of people putting money on the Browns go to the Super Bowl. Darrington Evans, Cole Komet. Say one of those Herberts too. You telling me that uh tell me the Browns suddenly not? Odell Beckham Jr. certainly turned into a a bad receiver. Ninety seven out of ninety nine Bears. Greg with that one. The Darrington Evans goes to Brandon Nelson and the Titans.
Peyton, what do you have? You got, you thought yours went well. You got Thomas, Lamar, Alvin Kamara, Derek Henry, and then the eight-man lead. Nice. I used to, uh, I used to uh, scoff at smaller leagues like eight-man league, you know. But I realized that there's there's a whole different challenge with with a smaller league. You know, it's like, well, what stud do you start on any given week? You know, because the, the margins are a lot, a little, little bit thinner. Everyone's going to go off, right, ideally, but which stud's going to go off a little more than the other stud player? And, like, selecting that, I think, makes, like, a small, like, eight-man league pretty, uh, pretty challenging. Yeah, well, let's see how the Bill O'Brien Texans experiment works. He chips off DeAndre Hopkins, locks up Deshaun Watson, gets David Johnson and Brandon Cooks. You know, I mean, is, is that net neutral? I, I, I have no idea. We did it. It did do this. Mm -hmm. David Johnson plus Brandon Cooks equals DeAndre Hopkins. Maybe they're more balanced, but then you saw Bill O'Brien there. Josh says 12-man PPR. Clyde, nice. Tyreek Hill, Thielen, Connor, Russell Wilson, Jonathan Taylor, Higby. Interesting. I kind of like that. I kind of like that team. Tyree Kill and Thielen. Here's Jake from State Farm. Autograph. Buffalo! Dan Tursky with that one. Talking about Brandon Ayuk, there he is. Ayuk Red Duvernay is right there too. Try to save those rookie parallels. All card ship. BD, Kyler MVP this year. Yeah, I, I mean I think he might be he might be a a good long shot to take. I think I think it was Adam Kupperman who was saying, look at the trend in the NFL. Was it Adam? Look at the trend in the NFL, right? Patrick Mahomes, strong arm, mobile quarterback, MVP in his second year. Lamar Jackson, mobile quarterback, strong arm, MVP in his second year. Kyler Murray kind of fits that, fits that mold right there. No? I think that's that seems to be the pattern in the NFL. Now he's now Kyler Murray's got some uh got some extra extra marination under his belt. He's been in the league for a year, he's gotten used to the league. Oh yeah, what what was what was your team, Phil? Did I miss it? Bobby Wagner. Yeah, Adam's saying your MVP picks with minimal financial interest. Kyler Murray, Drew Locke, Sam Darnold. Cause he's a Jets fan. He had to. But yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I think that that pattern, I think, is, is there. So that could be pretty. That could be an interesting sort of long shot. All right, so you got 12 team PPR, including Ben. You got Josh Allen, Thomas, DJ Moore, Drake, David Johnson, Waller, Brown, Singletary, Moss. I like that. I think Josh Allen could, could be pretty great fantasy wise. You got some running backs, and you got you got Darren Waller at the tight end position. I like Darren Waller. That, that Lamar Jackson wasn't from the one box you. 
that's from it. That was in the five box case, right? It wasn't in the filler. No, no, no. It wasn't in the filler. Yeah, no, there was no. a riff in the Instagram. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thinking no. that you just came and took their Lamar Jackson one. But no, I, I, I gave I gave the option for that person nah, to nah, take that box back. So, but no, that so was, I'm the not. Wasn't even in there. Lynn Bowden Jr. Raiders. That'll be for Eric. There's Darren Waller's. No Tyrell Williams for Darren Waller this year. So maybe that's maybe people thought that his his looks were going to get gobbled up by others. I don't think maybe not. Yeah, apparently there were some off-field issues that the Raiders were concerned about. Hence the uh, hence that trade because that when when I found out of it, someone the 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 crew told me well, breaking news. You know what I mean? I was like, what? Why would they do that? I thought thought they had they had some love for Lynn Bowden Jr. But apparently, I think I think his family was caught up with some with a in a federal investigation. And I think there was a raid at one of his family members' houses, and he had he was there. I mean, he wasn't caught up, and he wasn't arrested or caught up or without anything like that. But he's not being investigated. But there was that. I don't think the Raiders felt comfortable with that, and I think, you know, maybe was having a little too much fun in Vegas. They say it's football reasons. I'm sure that's part of it too, but. There's Miami. That goes to Corey. There's Kyler Murray Silver. There, who's looking for that Kyler? Jorge? There you go. And there's a Mike Williams, too. But I don't know. I guess I guess you have to give teams benefits of the doubt due to COVID because they can't really they can't really do the do the in depth interviewing and all that sort of stuff that, that they usually are able to do. Extra meetings, medicals, physicals. All that. Three boxes to go. I think I'm on, yeah, I'm on good timing here. Another 20 minutes or so. So, yeah, I was excited about Lynn Bowden Jr., though. I was like, oh, man, that'd be great. We'll see, see some crazy wildcat plays. He'll be, be a trickster. But it didn't work out, I guess. Hey, next man up. Dust off. <laughs> now now Rug, Rugs and Edwards should have more opportunities. Rugs can, for my Raiders, Rugs can speed down the, the field, stretch that field a little bit for Derek Carr, who I think is oft criticized for checking down too often or not, not, not very much uh, his average air yards, not that high. So maybe maybe Rugs can stretch the field out for him. Brian Edwards is a big target. Darren Waller is still there. Hunter Renfro is still around. Josh Jacobs obviously with the running game. Should be a big year for Derek Carr. I mean like a prove it year for Derek Carr. Oh yeah, absolutely, Laser. We've been pulling big hits all day. James Morgan Silver, Jeff Saturday Blue for the Blue Horseshoes. And an introduction to Joe Burrow. Well, Adam's got a fun prop bet. His favorite bet, not that I expected to win, was, well, that's why he only put $2 on it. That's the fun of it. Two bucks on Tom Brady to lead the league in interceptions at 50 to one. Yeah, maybe it's the uh, maybe it's the system, not the quarterback. That's why James Winston, it's James Morgan, silver for Adam and the Jets. Curtis Martin as well. That's gonna be that's a cool card. I could see the logic there, though. Maybe. 
Maybe Tom Brady thinks, hey, I could push the ball a little bit more, push it downfield to all these pass catchers that I have now. Oh, and a Brian Edwards redemption. Sign your cards, Brian. Rookie autographs mosaic. All right, so we got Blue Chips Tua for Corey and the Dolphins. And we've got that red Cole Komet. And the Brian Edwards, of course, goes to my Raiders. Eric Crow with the Raiders. Adam's bold prediction was that Brady will set a career high in interceptions. He would need 15. He's never thrown more than 15 interceptions. Brian Edwards, I think they're going to use a lot of him, Eric, so keep an eye out for him. There's Teddy Bridgewater again. Donovan McNabb, red, which I think Jason Jasmine might be interested in. Fourteen was his most, and maybe that was twice. Wow. I guess, guess he's pretty good, huh? There's Leonard Fournette, blue chips, two twenty-five. That's the idea right here. There's there's Rugs, right? There's Brian Edwards, and Rugs will go all the way on. And Brian Edwards gonna be like, whoop, you know, whoop. And this guy's all the way over there. That's the idea, anyway. Darren Waller underneath. Ooh, nice. Tua Tagovailoa in that mosaic prism right here. That's really cool. Nice one for Corey and the Dolphins. Just the, not an insert, just the regular base version as well. With it. There you go. Gabriel Davis. Apologies, Gabriel Davis. Phil can see it. And Terry Bradshaw, gold. 10 out of 10. Hall of Fame card for Oliver Smith and the Steelers. Denver's up? Ooh, I have financial interest in Denver. <laughs> Wish this TV worked. All right, keep me posted, Prim. I, I, I put a... Uh, I put one unit on Denver plus 280 to just win outright tonight. There's Jeff Gladney. Vikings, that's going to go to Ricky Holbert. Got Jerry Judy right here and Howie Long Red. Jerry Judy for Matt Johnston and the Broncos. AJ Brown. Stairmasters. Do we like those Stairmasters? Patrick Mahomes, Chiefs. Mark Bissett with that. Adrian Peterson, Vikings edition. Jerry Rice. All right, two boxes to go. In Pick Your Team 6, second half of the case is actually going to be Pick Your Team 5. So get your teams going on that on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Usually someone would tell me that if it was sold out, but no one has. So maybe it's not sold out yet. Break schedule in the chat, thanks to Nightbot. So check that out. I think the break schedule says that I'm going to be taking a quick little dinner break. And then we'll come back. We'll go through some more orders and see what else is full. There is late night with Sean Jaspi, so, so don't worry about us running out of time tonight. 
on this Friday night. Keep getting your orders in. I did two fantasy drafts, Phil. One was the the the, uh, the store league, which I don't think I did very well at. But I did like what happened in my my other league. I only do two leagues. Did an auction league. I think I did pretty well on that. I think I locked up Brady, Aaron Jones, Josh Jacobs. Got a steady running attack there. There's NFL debut, Jalen Ragor. Got my Brian Edwards, got Darren Waller. That Giants autograph went to uh, Cody, by the way. Ooh, nice NFL debut, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. 18 out of 25. No, no Gallup exposure. That was in, in my auction draft, and I think he just went for a little bit more than more than I wanted. I'm all in on Darren Waller, though. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of a regression, but as long as he's healthy, I think they're just going to keep going to him. People are gonna, their teams are going to scheme for him now, but now you've got other other receivers for the opposing defenses to worry about. Saquon Barkley, stained glass, Giants, Cody. BD's heavy on Terry McLaurin. Well, if I think were, were you uh, there, he is. Were you mentioning this earlier, BD? That it, if if Haskins takes it to the next level, and maybe he will with Ron Rivera. You know that's good news for for Terry McLaurin, who made some amazing plays last season. Oh, that's getting really close. Are the, are is Denver going to hang on? I've taken the points, Prim. But that, but you know, scared money don't make money, right? I preach that all the time. That's why I went money line. Denver plus the points, I think, was only like minus one fifteen or something like that. Plus two eighty sounded better. The money line. I should have turned up the volume on the other TV out there. Oh, sorry, this break. Yeah, crank crank that sucker up. There's LaVisca Chenault Jr. Joseph Matthews with the Jags. Nice. Wow, I, I that's good. Thanks, John. This is Javon Kinlaw. No, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I can kind of hear in the background now. Justin Herbert, NFL debut. Josh S., tuning in a little late, but what giant auto did you hit? So many. I mean, I can't even count how many gigantic autographs we've pulled out of here. NFL debut, I hit a, hit a one of one Lamar Jackson. That was nice. Greg B. with the Chargers gets the Justin Herberts, plural. Another Justin Herbert. And a Blue Tua. Nice. It's a NFL debut Tua, but Blue Tua. Corey. One out of 99, that's his jersey number. Nice, we, I rarely hit jersey numbers. <laughs> it's a 
Stephon Gilmore mosaic, Jason Taylor. Let's save an introduction to Joe Burrow too. Is a uh, is Joy Taylor still Colin Coward's co-host? Yeah. Yes. That's Jason Taylor's sister. You got an old football player Jason Taylor. I had no idea. The the Dolphins. Remember the old Dolphins? Uh, Dolphins. Defensive end. Defensive end. Yeah. yeah. You, you you'll know him if you see him. That's why I oh, <laughs> that's right. Teddy's a Dolphins guy. That's right. I forgot that Teddy's. No, but I, I didn't realize his sister was uh, in the media world. Last box coming up. So this, once again, this is Pick a Team 6. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. we got plenty more mosaic in the store and plenty of time to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got, we got Sean Jaspi doing late night. See you, Joe. See you, boss man. Nick Jaspi declaring his hatred for Kyle Lowry. <laughs> Possibly screwing up a DraftKings lineup for him. You hate him for the hobby. That's right. We need Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum winning is hashtag good for the hobby. All right. Final box. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. KJ Hamler Red. It's 107 to 100, less than 30 seconds left. Is this going to happen? Another Justin Herbert. Another one for Greg and the Chargers. And we've got a Jalen Hurts autograph. For the Fly Eagles Fly. That's going to be for Patrick. There's Patrick. Ryan S. is with you, Nick. He, he doesn't like Kyle Lowry. He needs Jason Tatum's to do well. Hashtag good for the hobby. Yeah, I do have a I do I do have some plays on on the Celtics, so kind of like them to close it out. Make it happen. There's CD Lamb Red. Actually, let's set that aside. Okay. Rookie Parallel. I want to sleeve up. Take care of. Nice Kenneth Murray Silver. There's Kirk Cousins to 99. Sean Jaspi all in on Kenneth Murray as Defensive Rookie of the Year. That's his, that's his call. Could be a beast. There it is, rookie silver for Greg and the Chargers. NFL debut Tua. CD Lamb NFL debut mosaic. <laughs> right, Ryan S. saying, listen, I actually love Kyle Lowry, Villanova guy. You know him perks because your brother trains him in the offseason. Nice. So he's a good dude, but you do need your prisms to keep, you do need your Tatum prisms to keep going up. It's just business. It's not personal. It's just business. You know? It's like the Godfather taught us. 
Aaron Rodgers stained glass. Another one for Colin. Josh is asking, do you think we'll get unlicensed baseball, mo mosaic baseball next year? I'd love to see some mosaic baseball. I mean, they already did it for, for basketball and now football. Maybe they, maybe they will extend it out to... Uh, maybe they will, actually. I wouldn't mind it. Hakeem Butler. Autograph for Jorge. There's Max Crosby. Howie Long. Old school Raider right next to him. A.J. Dillon, NFL debut, silver. There's a Max Crosby to 99. And an introductions... Joe Burrow and an NFL debut, Justin Herbert, to close things out. Am I giving away anything in this? I don't think so. There you go. That was a nice clean break, boys and girls. Brand new release, 2020 Panini Mosaic Football. Plenty in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. My name is Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.